So ultimately, the biggest problem with this movie is that if you haven't seen the show already, you're going to be kind of confused. Now, at least with the Rugrats movie, that took the time to explain how the world of that show works. This film has practically no exposition. I kid you not, literally three minutes in, and I know because I paused it to check, three minutes in, and we already know what the conflict of the movie is. There's no introduction to the characters, and it feels like we skipped over what should be like the first 20 minutes. And it also feels like it moves very quickly, and it's paced more like a show rather than it is a movie. Honestly, it feels more like a TV special rather than something that was theatrically released. It doesn't really go outside its comfort zone or try to do anything too big. You know, Rugrats, they went to the forest in the first movie. In the second movie, they went to Paris and they had like a giant mecha Godzilla, essentially. You know, those felt big. Those felt different. This feels very trapped in its own box. Now, it does have a really good message and it has a really important message about not letting the man kick you around. But it's not in a way that's presented as anarchist. You know, I think it's important for kids to learn to stand up for their rights. I think it's important for them to learn why we built this country. It's kind of like Disney's Recess that way. And speaking of which, you know, even Recess schools out. Even that movie felt more like a theatrical movie because it actually took the time to explain stuff. This just, like, rushes it in. And, but, you know, it's got some good jokes. But, yeah, again, it all goes back to if you haven't seen the show, certain moments in this movie will mean nothing to you. The biggest example is that there's a part where the character Helga is confessing her love for Arnold, and they do touch on it a bit at the beginning, but if you haven't seen the show, it's not going to be as big of a moment as it would be otherwise. This is a 75-minute movie without credits that probably would have benefited from being around like 80 or 90 minutes, just to establish the characters a bit more for people who don't watch the show. It's got a good message, but it's a problem when the main character's head is bigger than the stakes. So, hair on the movie for me gets a C, a 7 out of 10, and a 3 out of 5 stars. It's honestly just pretty average.